Hey, Manny Bash, 30th of January, 2020. There's a couple of real quick things I just want to throw at you here concerning Kansas, Jericho, meaning Israel and a fictional town in Kansas, and the Miami Super Bowl, perhaps. Very strange things. We had all the Kansas lawmakers a couple weeks ago were bussed to Forbes Field for an unusual briefing from the DHS. I will link all these articles for you guys, so just, you know, look in there for further details. But this did happen in Kansas, and only in Kansas, apparently. And at the same time, the state treasurer of Kansas apparently was in Israel, either at that same time or shortly thereafter. And he happened to meet with IDF intelligence, and they discussed security challenges ironically he'll be running for congress as well at some point in the future jake la turner he just happened to be in israel at the same time you know what i'm saying and he heard from an idf intelligence officer yeah and he's running for congress and then we had a mayor of a pretty sizable town in kansas lawrence kansas had bricks thrown through the windows of her house, okay? And I put Jericho here because in the fictional television series Jericho, there were 23 cities targeted for nuclear terrorism, you could say. And Lawrence, Kansas just happened to be one of them. The same state that the fictional town Jericho was located in. Okay, then we had the peace plan announcement, and Trump actually asked Pompeo a very odd question. I found it very peculiar. And, of course, our great Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Wow, oh, that's impressive. That was very impressive, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Great. Very. Are you running for uh, Senate? I guess the answer is no after that, huh? They all want him to. Kansas, great state. They want him to, but you're doing a great job. Don't move. I just found that very bizarre that Kansas would pop up in his announcement about the peace plan. Kansas, great state. They want him to, but you're doing a great job. Don't move. And in that peace plan, it includes the annexation of Jordan Valley, which includes the city of Jericho. If you look at the image of how that annexation will take place, you'll see that Jericho is completely surrounded by blue, by Israel. But Jericho itself apparently is left to the Palestinians. However, they are completely surrounded. Just like Joshua 6, with the seven priests, the seven trumpets, they circled the city seven times, so on and so forth, and the walls of Jericho fell. And it happens to be the name of the same fictional city in Kansas where 23 United States cities are targeted for nuclear attack. The very same time that Trump was making this announcement, a 7.7 .7 earthquake occurred, I believe in the very same time zone down around Cuba and Jamaica. And it actually caused people to evacuate buildings in Miami which is a long ways away, but it did actually happen. And oddly enough, when they vacated these buildings in Miami, the 7-7 earthquake was 77.6 miles northwest of Lucia, Jamaica, interestingly enough, six miles beneath the surface of the water. The first person they interview, Manny Garcia, happened to be on the 23rd floor of this building at 2.30 p.m. The numbers are just screaming at me all over the place, you guys. The 23 cities in Jericho that were nuclear attacked. You see where I'm going? There was also a basketball game that emptied the benches in a brawl. And the game was between Kansas and Kansas. I mean, you can't really make this stuff up, you guys. Seriously, Kansas in Kansas State basketball game, bench clearing brawl. And look at the image here. You have number 22 about to pummel someone with a chair, right? And number 33 just happens to be the guy next to him. And we see this prominent three, two, two, as well as all the numerology that just is stupid. 
steeped in that one image. And it's Kansas fighting Kansas. Yep, that's not good. Well, this is bad. Go figure. Kansas City is in the Super Bowl. Ironically, for the first time since 1969. And it's in Miami, where they had to vacate the 23rd floor at 2.30. And Miami happens to be one of the 23 cities that's attacked in the fictional TV series Jericho, okay, which is in Kansas, the heart of America. They create a new allied states of America. The flag has stars on it. Very interesting. But they maintain the 13 stripes because it's still the same rebellion. And that show hit the airwaves on the 20th of September, 2006. And if we do go forward to the Super Bowl, it's 13 years, 4 months and 14 days. But this is where it gets real interesting. In the Hebrew Concordance, the 4884, the mirror, is a 12 and a 12, incidentally, is to divide. Okay, And that's exactly what happens in this Jericho television series. The country is nuked, it's divided, and now they have the allied states of America. America is divided, essentially destroyed, just like they're dividing the land of Israel and annexing all the territory around Jericho, right? Get a load of this. In the Greek concordance, the word for 4884 is sun arpazo, or to snatch together, seize, catch, and it's from the Greek word 726, harpazo. This is the separation, the division, the wheat, the tares, the goats. You notice how they're just talking about all the goats. Kobe was a goat. LeBron's a goat, right? Brady, yep, he's a goat. You notice how they're just throwing that out so willy-nilly these days? Well, that's what we're dealing with. Quite literally, except these are Nephilim. These are powers and principalities that only the blood of Christ Jesus and the Spirit of the living God will carry you through. Now, this is interesting. A lot of you may be too young to remember this or just never listened to this kind of music, but there was a band. In fact, there still is a band called Kansas. And they just happen to still be on tour. You can't make this up. They're playing the night before the Super Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, seriously. And the venue, look at the symbolism in this. I mean, we could spend time here. February 1st, look at this. The Point of No Return Tour, Kansas, Jacksonville, Florida. Look at the zip code, 32202. Crazy. And they got this little compass over here with the ship going over the edge. The point of no return, another mockery with the black sun back there. Just amazing. So Florida, Miami, you know, that's really prevalent here. The division, it's just a matter of time, folks. You don't know Jesus, you've got to get to it. Oh, one more thing. I kind of akin this Jericho, a fictional television series where 23 United States cities are targeted in nukes, okay? to the London Telegraph comic strip, you might say, Operation Blackjack, where Blackjack is 21, which is 777. And we just had this event, 201, about the contagion, the coronavirus, 21. Boeing is having to lay off 2,800 employees in Wichita, Kansas. Because that's where their contractor, Spirit Aerosystems, is located. Spirit in Wichita, Kansas. No, I, I know we're not in Kansas. Where they're laying off 2,800 people. It's just insane. Everything that's coming together with this whole scenario here is really bizarre. But... You know, there it is. Kansas. Anak. The sons of Anak. That's the spirit that's always behind this stuff. Let me just try and sum this up. I mean, there is something absolutely going on here. 
between Kansas, Jericho, Israel, of course, the Super Bowl, Kansas City, all these various things. These lawmakers being briefed in private by the DHS, the treasurer meeting with the IDF, the politician getting bricks thrown through her house, the peace plan, him mentioning Pompeo in Kansas. That's just bizarre. The Jericho annexation, the peace plans at the same time as a 7-7 quake, this crazy fight with these basketball teams, a Super Bowl celebration party in Kansas City where two people were killed at the Nines Ultra Lounge. It was just a very strange scenario there. I mean, really, it just goes on and on. The 69 Kansas City in the Super Bowl, the 23 cities, only 21 are successful attacks. And then, you I mean, it just goes on and on. Oh, yeah, and on the same day that Trump releases the peace plan, a six-foot boa constrictor snake. I'm not kidding you. I mean, seriously, the very same day that Trump's making the speech, right? A six-foot boa constrictor's found in someone's couch. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. In Rose Hill, Kansas. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. You just can't get around this stuff, you guys. The separation, that is the big one, though. Because that's what's upon us. It is a literal thing. And if you're not on the side of Christ Jesus, then you are a tear. It really boils down to that level of simplicity. So I pray you know him. And if you don't, seek him humbly, sincerely. You need a savior and he's the only one. The Operation Blackjack, how it coincides with this uh, Jericho situation, the 21 cities that are actually nuked out of the 23, Event 201. Oh yeah, the Wichita thing, the, the reason that they're laying off people is because now they got to refit to start building the 777 after they lay off 2800. It goes on, there's some other stuff that's very interesting, but... I'm just putting this out there to you because we really aren't in Kansas anymore, folks. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. And if you're not spiritually sound on the rock of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, he knows his name. When you call on him sincerely with a humble heart, he hears you and will answer you and will show himself to you. Open the scriptures and ask for the truth. You've got to start somewhere. So, this is pretty interesting stuff, you guys. And I had to share it with you. I just did. Because I know I miss stuff. But, for me to even do this much is an absolute miracle. Praise God. Jesus is coming, folks. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 